What's going on guys? Welcome to TK's Garage 405. Today I'm going to show you how I fixed my Duramax typewriter tick. Let's get to it. Okay, so if you guys have one of these Duramaxes, you, or if you've had, you know, several of them over the years, trade them in, whatever, you've likely had this problem. Now, this is an uh, LB7 truck there, so it's like a 04 or whatever, I guess. Um, this is a common problem, not just across the Duramax trucks. It's more common, I think, across the Duramax trucks, but it's also prevalent. I hear lots of Ford guys and things like that talking about it, but it's very common even to this day the brand new Duramaxes still do it in some of the trucks. It just seems hit or miss whether or not it does it. Um, there's a bunch of different reasons that they say that they do it and why it does it, I don't know for sure, but there's different speculations on clearances and um, bubbles in the oil and all sorts of different things like that. But basically it's just, if you guys have had these and you've heard it, so when I bought this truck, um, it actually didn't like it was a little bit li a little bit of noise but not much but this thing had a fairly fresh engine rebuild on it so i thought well that's strange and once it warmed up it actually got kind of worse and then so i took it for an oil change thinking man the oil's maybe just bad on it you know like just been sitting around a little bit or whatever maybe went past this oil change which there was a sticker so i didn't think it had but so i ended up putting rotella in it and as it warmed up there it got way worse to the point where it actually sounded like almost like if you had a a gas engine it sounds like a collapsed lifter basically so not good um so then i th started kind of doing a little bit of research there to see what i could do to fix the problem and from that i kind of searched the internet high and low with some some theories there the first thing i tried is i tried adding a little bit of lucas oil stabilizer to it because it's thick right and I didn't want to add too much because this engine's fresh um, but I added about uh, half a quart probably and it didn't make a bit of difference so I knew that probably wasn't likely to help I thought maybe a heavier oil would kind of like dull the sound down there a little bit and it, if anything it maybe maybe even got louder after that which I thought was kind of strange um, so after doing like hours and hours of research on it and nobody really having a great result for it there was one guy that mentioned in the comments he said he said it was driving him crazy and so he just decided that uh, he was going to try a different type of oil and so that's kind of what this ended up being here so i'll show you that right now okay so just to clarify here i'm in no way shape or form affiliated with mobile but uh, i will say i always run rotella you guys see rotella and everything and I'm actually like kind of opposed normally to running a like a full synthetic like this. And the reason is because on these older vehicles, especially especially older diesels, they tend to leak. Like if you had like a 73 Ford or something, they they always have the tendency to leak. And if this oil is like fairly expensive. I mean, I got a discount on it and I think the oil was still for because this thing holds 10 quarts. So I think this oil was um like $170. The only advantage it gives you is it'll do a 7,500 mile interval if you're comfortable running that far. Um, some guys will run it farther than that. I really don't like running anything past 5,000 to be totally honest, but that's not the point of this. So this 540 mobile one, and it has to be turbo diesel truck oil. That was specifically what this guy had mentioned in the in one of these uh, chats there or whatever. And I thought, well, I guess it was time for an oil change again. Pretty soon I had put a bunch of miles the first week I had there. And I thought, well, I'll just short change it here anyways, cause it was kind of dirty the first time. Of course, diesel's oil is always dirty, but I thought, well, I'll just short change it and whatever. So I ended up changing it um, and I put this in it and it was like immediately, it 
quieted right down. I mean like to the point of having no noise. So if you guys watch back to my other video there where my where my um, ball joint broke, you can hear it in the video there. It is just hammering. And I'll show you guys right now that this has basically cured itself. Um, like I said, the only reason I tried this was because, uh, sorry, only reason I tried this was because I knew that this engine was fairly fresh and it wasn't gonna leak. And ironically, I put a fair bit of miles on it already and it, this thing does not burn oil, like nothing, like, which is good because there's no blow by and nothing like that. But yeah, there is other issues here, obviously. I haven't really talked too much about it, but, but I'm gonna start it up for you guys just so you can see because it's crazy how much of a difference it made. Okay, you can see I'm cold starting it there. Glow plugs went on. Surface engine lights on because it's still doing the thing. But I'll just take you guys outside and show you. So from inside the cab when it was loud, I mean, it was like, literally, like when they say typewriter tick, it sounds like you're just hammering the keys on a on a keyboard or like I said, like a collapsed lifter on a gas engine or something like that. So you can see it's quiet now. And it, I will say normally when you started it, it was the quietest that it would be. But as, as the oil kind of, I guess, whatever deteriorated there, even when it was cold, it would still do it. And now when it's warm, it doesn't do it at all. So, so anyways, if you guys were looking for something to resolve this, that's kind of what I had done there. So yeah, I think that oil is worth a try for somebody that's kind of getting annoyed by that noise. Like I said, it is fairly pricey and maybe there's other options. Uh, I did hear a couple other ones in some chats here. I haven't had an opportunity to try them yet. I would be curious if something like AMS oil or I don't know, even like just other synthetic brands. I know um, one that people talk about and I actually, I use it time to time if it's on sale or something like that is like Valvoline, but I, I don't run the synthetic stuff. I just run regular, but that stuff is like, you know, like, like gold when it comes out. So it looks like good oil, but I don't know. I just, until you try it, I don't know for sure, but this definitely worked. So if you guys are wanting something that's a little longer life oil, or maybe just something that's quieted down, I think it's worth a try. Um, like I said, if you have oil leaks and things like that, that could be either expensive or just kind of annoying, but yeah, it's, as I said, it worked for me and I've put a bunch of miles on it and it hasn't gotten any louder yet. And um, so, so I'm gonna probably continue to run it just because it was like super obnoxious. And actually, to be honest, it seems like it runs smoother. So anyways, guys, well, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share me around on social media, TK's Grad 405 on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks guys.